welcome back to my channel. So today I am back to share with you what I have put in P's Christmas stocking this year. I have done this ever since, well she's had a stocking even when she was like 13 weeks old. I've done one every single Christmas that she's had. She is five so if you need inspiration for girls, whether it be gifting for nieces or children in your family or your own, Hopefully I've got some little inspo for you. This year I got some new stockings because why not? It's been a hell of a year for everyone and I wanted to treat myself, obviously they're for the children but I just needed them. Um, with the news of Kath Kidston closing all of its stores, this year I've just gone cray on buying secondhand Kath Kidston stuff. You all know I love it anyway. Look what I've got. The girls have got matching Christmas stockings. Now I know Florence is only eight and a half months old. She does not need a stocking of this size, but you will see her video. You might have seen it before, you might see it after this. Um, I've got stuff to put in this. So they've both got matching. These are um, the bauble ones. I don't know what year. They were brand new with tags. I wanna say brand new, they were like, 18 or 22 pounds each i paid 24 for both which i think is a steal i love the print it's old it's an old school calf style plenty of room i did actually buy florence a like my first christmas one but it's just too small um and then i could write on it but i'm i don't think i am i'm gonna get like a p and an f and attach it so then it hangs down because I don't want to deface this. This is beautiful. Um, and obviously as the years go on, the rarer they get. So this is their stockings. Um, so let's get into the video. I just, I just love them. So um, where am I going to start? I do not know. I've just got so much stuff. Start with this. I have had these probably for like a year. And they are washable felt tips from Morrison's. I think I paid like a pound for these. I can't really remember, but they're just felt tips. P has really got into colouring this year, obviously with her starting reception. Um, when we went for the interview, the teacher was like, what do you not like doing? And she was like, colouring. And now she loves it. She can't get enough of it. So she's got some felt tips. Um, I have had these again probably for a couple of years. My friend Rosie, who does YouTube, she'll comment on the video, you know who she is. Um, she gave me a stash of stuff ages ago. Her friend like gets samples from shops or something uh, and she gave Rosie loads and then Rosie gave some to me. So I've got some really pretty hair slides from Next. Obviously these didn't cost me anything. I don't know if that's bad, but why not give them to her in her stocking? So she's got some really pretty like festive hair clips. She's got some bobbles, colourful bobbles, so I think she'll like those. And then she's also got this bag, which I think she'll really like, just to put like her odds and sods in. This is from M&S. But again, like it doesn't have a barcode. I don't know if you can see that. It doesn't have one at all. And it just poppers up with this little clasp. So I think she'll really enjoy that. It's got like little sequin, not sequins, it's like a metallic glittery star and then some little tassels so she's got those and this key ring in poundland p is in the lol phase this year and i'm trying to do it as cheaply as i can because lol stuff is so expensive so the fact that i found this in poundland she actually got one for her birthday that was pink um i couldn't leave this behind this is I think it's like Swag Baby or something. She knows all the bloody names and everything, but I just thought for a pound, absolute bargain. It's like plastic glitter and then the pom-poms so that can go on like her school bag or her book bag or something. I'll, get, I'll do all the LOL stuff now and get it out of the way. I've got this washcloth. This was from Bargs. I think it was maybe like 69p. I haven't seen these in there for ages. I got this back in the summer. Um, so she's got a flannel. Uh, what else have I got this lol she's got some toothbrushes um I think these were like 59p maybe 99p again from Bargs got those ages ago whenever I see stuff in Bargs I just buy it because it'll probably never be in there again I got her this lip balm this one is the blueberry flavor 
and they had these three designs so they had cherry blueberry or raspberry so i just got her the purple one which is blueberry i think that was 69 or 99p i've got this again from home bargs um and in here you get a coloring book a bracelet stickers and a memory game so she'll love that just anything lol at the moment is right up her street this is controversial um but I just saw it and it was 149 and I thought, why not? I know she's not going to use it outside because she doesn't need to. But I got her a face mask because everyone else is bloody wearing them. And I thought if she wants to wear one, she can. I know she doesn't need to, but why not? She can just play with it on her dolls or something or put it on her teddies. So she's got an LOL face mask. So I just thought that was quite apt. Um, where's the other thing? I just saw it. And, oh, I've got two more. I've got her some shades from Poundland so they're blue and then you've got the lol design on the arms pound she loves her shades she's like her mother and then finally again very apt um for her school bag these were in Aldi of all places they had like the hand soap and then the hand sand separately um and she knows who this is I have no clue but it's um hand sand that can go on her school bag or her book bag um and then i can refill it so she'll lose her mind over that because i know she she will love that um what else have we got i picked up over the year because that is how i shop four things of play-doh now normally i would potentially wrap these up and just have these as like a, a main gift but she's just got so much stuff i thought put it in the stocking um i have a rule where she's got a i think it's like an 18 set of mini play-dohs that she's not allowed to mix up um but i buy these ones and she's allowed to mix these ones so she's already got the pink and the purple and then like i said over the year i've just collected these i think i paid I got these ones recently and I got these for 75p each in Tesco's so I probably paid either 75 50 or a pound for these so she's got yellow orange blue and green she can obviously mix the colors up with those I've got to the point in my parenting where I just just do what you want like I don't care about mixing up play-doh anymore before that was like a, a sin of mine whereas now I'm just like if it makes you happy you do it i can't be neurotic anymore because i'm i'm killing myself like it's hard um i got her some unicorn cosmic unicorn limited edition body wash it's called unicorn dust so i'm sure she's gonna love that it's just a purple body wash for when she has a bath or a shower she's gonna love that that's really really strong is this the only toiletries that i've got her this year no, I've got her some leave-in conditioner, which is Paw Patrol from Home Bugs. Didn't say, this was like 79 or 89p from Aldi. This was 39p. And then I've also got some shampoo here. Shampoo and conditioner, Schwarzkopf, super soft. It's got a fairy on it. This was from Home Bargains. It was 99p. Oh, that smells nice. Um, it's vegan as well. They also had the matching detangler, but I already had the Paw Patrol one, so I know I didn't need this one. Talking of hair care, again, I picked this up from Bargs. Bargs is the place to go. Like, I've I've got loads of good stuff from there. Um, this was, I want to say it was like 129 or 149 a little detangling brush with a P on it. She doesn't necessarily need it, but... When do you ever really need stuff that's in a stocking? I picked up some of these little nail varnishes. She's getting to the age now, obviously she's five. She's getting into that like sassy kid age where she thinks she's like 22 uh, and she's not. Uh, she certainly acts like a teenager though. It's horrific. Um, so I got her holographic because I remember getting holographic nail polish when I was young and I thought I was the bee's knees and I loved it. Mine was blue with green reflex. It was fantastic. Um, so I think these are like 49p each from Home Bargains and I got her, bear with me, you're not focusing. I got her the pink and the purple because um, they're her favourite colours. So I think she's going to love those. What else have we got? I got her this from Poundland. She didn't necessarily need it, but I just thought for all of her beauty bits, 
um she could do oh i put something in it definitely forgot about that um i thought i just thought it was really cool i'm like a magpie and i love this sort of stuff um and for a pound i was like yeah you're a bit of me so she can put whatever she wants in it good job i looked in here because i was wondering where these went i picked pick up some jewelry from home bargains I really apologise if you don't have a home bargains near you because that's just the place to be, um, especially for stocking stuffers. So I got her this jewellery set again. I just think she's going to love it. She's of that age where like dressing up or being like a grown up like mummy, like obviously I've got my bracelets and my rings on and things like that. This is a bruise by the way. I've whacked my hand on the door handle. It was horrific. So she's got a ring, rainbow. They had a couple of designs. They had a star. They had um, a unicorn, obviously, and I think they had another one, maybe a heart. But I went with the rainbows. I thought it was quite apt for this year. Um, so she's got the ring. She's got the bracelet with the rainbow. And then she's also got a necklace, which she hasn't, she hasn't had like a metal one before. So I really hope she likes this and potentially has it as like her grown up, like special stuff, not play jewellery. Um, this was... I think it was $1.99 for the set, which is so cheap. Put that down there safely. And then I also got her this one, because I couldn't leave it behind. This is the charm bracelet from Home Bargains. Again, it was like 79p, something really inexpensive. And it's got the rainbow and the pink beads. Again, they had different colours and stuff. I think these are still in there if you are after some like last minute stocking stuffers. Also from Bargs, I picked up these hairbands. They're not cat hairbands, they've just got hearts on. You're gonna focus. The ones that I got from Poundland a couple of years ago, they're rubbish. So she's got a gold, a white, and a pink, and they've got all like iridescent sparkles. So again, right up her street. Um, like I said, the Poundland ones are just too flimsy and they just don't stay in her hair anymore. So I'm hoping that these ones with a little bit more structure will stay in. And again, I think these were like, 89p I've got one craft thing which seems really silly putting in her stocking but why not it's an extra thing for her to unwrap glue spreaders obviously with her starting school she's been really into like crafting and things like that and this is the one thing that we don't have so i've got her some of those talking of crafting i have had this for such a long time uh, i don't know if it's going to be any good it's a doc mcstuffins like clay set it's tiny um i got this on poundtoy.com ages ago i think it was like last year for christmas um and i forgot about it so i've got it for this year the clay is still moldable i can still feel it so hopefully it'll be okay and she can just make like a snowman out of it or something so she's got that she asked for when we went around say nose from say nose toy sale she asked for some playmobil blind bags obviously if you watch my play my playmobil vlog my Sainsbury's toy sale vlog you'll know how awful that was um we don't need to go there um so when Tesco had their sale on it was only 50p off but I knew it was something that she really wanted so I got her Playmobil blind bag for £1.50 um she got a couple of these last year but she got like the really rubbish ones she got like a cyborg or something um so let's hope she gets like the princess or like the space girl or something um so she's got a blind bag I also got her this Littlest Pet Shop blind bag from, has she got one or two? I swear she had two. God knows where that other one's gone. Um, so she's got this one. You going to focus? Um, and it's basically like a little pet and maybe like a basket or a house or something for it to sleep in. Kids just love blind bags, don't they? From Wilco ages ago, like back in the summer, I got this. This says everything's cool. It's from Frozen 2 and it's a little tumbler. I say little, it's massive tumbler with Olaf on it. I think this was like 75p. They had mugs, they had um, diaries and everything. They had loads of stuff and I just know she's going to love this. Um, can I put hot drinks in it? Yeah. Oh no, not for use with hot drinks. Um, so she can just have her squash and stuff in there and hopefully she won't chew the straw because that drives me up the wall so she's got that she's got loads of stuff this year i think she's got a really good stocking but i've been collecting it for over a year i picked this cd up in boots in the clearance you can see i only paid 20p for it 
she just loves her audio book um this is music why why did i buy this peppa pig music my first album she just loves singing and dancing and i just thought why not yes okay she's a little bit old for peppa pig now but the girl still loves it we put it on for florence i don't know why she's nine months but i do um so we've got a little cd for her cd player that she's got in her bedroom um I've got two types of like foamy slime again from Bargs. So this I want to say I paid like 20p for this. It was really really cheap. Um it's like astro foam. So it's like the bubble style. So she's got that. I've also got diamond putty which is like slime. Again, this is really inexpensive. I think this was like 50p as well. For her birthday, she received um, the Poopsie Slime display case. So I thought she could put these in the Poopsie Slime display case. She has got a couple of the Poopsie Slimes, but they're so expensive. Um, so I thought these would be a good like alternative for her to put into that case. I got this ages ago in the summer sale in Debenhams. This should have been £6. £6. Um, I paid £1.80 for it. I got 70% off loved that sale um and this is a like a grow your own egg but it's a mermaid one and we've never done this before so i think she will absolutely love it she's definitely of the age now where she understands about like growing and things like that at school she's done like the broad bean and things like that so hopefully she'll really enjoy doing that she needed a new bottle of milk for her baby can someone tell me where the milk goes because she had about five of these bottles, not this one per se. Um, the milk just disappears and I've got no idea where it goes because it doesn't leak, it doesn't go on my floor. Um, like this one's half gone already. Um, so I don't understand where the magic milk goes because my ones are empty. So I'm gonna put those in the, bo in the bin. Um, so this was from Tesco's. This was £1.20 and normally £1.50. So she's just got one of those ones almost done almost done got her a puzzle got this last year uh this was one pound from the works it's a 54 piece aerial puzzle um she's doing really well with her puzzles the ones that we've got they're too easy so i thought i'd just get her a tricky one that she can work on for food this year she has got smarties it's the only thing that she asked for um she obviously receives a lot of chocolate from friends and family and she doesn't need loads within her stocking um so i've got her some smarties um i was gonna get her another tube and then i saw one of these i've never brought her like a little selection pack before but i thought what brilliant idea why not she can get loads of things that she loves for like in one thing so you get a fudge a freddo buttons curly whirly and a chomp so hopefully she will like that and then obviously she's got some chocolate coins and then finally my last three things i got these from poundland i got everything from poundland actually this is called what woost what um and this is a game I want to say it's sort of like Uno. Match the number or the shape in a race to be the first to get rid of your cards. Yes, it's like Uno. Or is it like Speed? Or are they the same? No, I think it's like Speed. Me and my grandma used to play Speed all the time. And we had like a... It was like from like the 50s or 60s. It was a set of cards with like... Um, planes and trains and boats and things on and i've got a feeling that this is the same sort of thing um this is by waddington's who do the cards um shopkin version for a pound and i think she's going to absolutely love it she's of the age now where she's really into like card games which i love um so she loves double she loves uno she's so good at uno like she beats me all the time and i think how you're five and then finally I picked up some Barbie skirts from Poundland. They had loads of other different designs, but these were the ones that I liked the most. Um, she got loads of Barbies for her birthday, um, and I just thought, let's get her a couple of like extra little bits. Um, if they do tops, I would have got some as well, but they didn't have any. Um, so I just got her this stripy skirt and this leopard print one, which I really, really like. So hopefully she will like those as well. That's everything that I got for P in her stocking this year. She's going to love it.
I think she's got more than enough to keep her happy. Um, loads of like little bits to do, things to wear, like her sunglasses in her bag and things like that. Um, really, really like it this year. I really hope she enjoys it too. Um, if you think I've forgotten anything, leave me a comment below and I'll see if I can quickly run out and go and grab it. I now finally get to sit down and wrap this stuff because I've had it, like you've seen throughout the video, I've had it for such a long time. I'm now currently working on my stash for next year because that's how I stagger the cost. I really hope you all enjoyed this video and I've given you a little bit of inspiration if you needed any. Um, yeah, I'm going to go. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.